generational curses end where a man's forgiveness for his father begins. There are a lot of men walking around like I was when I was a young man with this, and I hate using this term, father wound, that it's, it's somehow normal to walk around with all this negativity and this resentment toward the man whose last name you share, towards the man that is your earthly father. It's not normal. It's not normal at all, but it's very, very clear in the data what kind of deep, dark hole this leaves in a man's heart and in his life without his earthly father being present in his life the way that he was supposed to be. You know, a man's more likely to become incarcerated, less successful financially, uh, more mental health issues, uh, more likely to be rebellious, to do uh, drugs and alcohol and engage in promiscuity. Numerous, numerous things that are deeply, deeply destructive. Now, if you're one of these men like me that didn't grow up with a good father, this is not a death sentence, but let me tell you what is. Not forgiving him. Not forgiving him. And you may not know this because you're ha you have all this negativity. You become what you hate, whether you like to acknowledge it or not. See, I grew up and I, w I thought I was doing all the right things. I was sleeping around and engaging in destructive behavior, all the while, behind the scenes, hating this in my father because this was the type of behavior that he showed growing uh, growing up and even with with my mother by, by cheating on her numerous numerous times and then when i finally came of age where I, god snapped me out of it i thought man the more hatred and the more negativity i harbored toward him the more i became like him you become what you hate especially when it comes to your own earthly father you may not know it because it's insidious it's very slow you're acting in a spirit of rebellion but really, you're rebelling against God and the life that he calls you to live by engaging in promiscuity, drugs, alcohol, all this self-serving behavior. Guys, you want to break the cycle? You've got to forgive him. You've got to forgive him. Otherwise, if you become a father, you are much more likely to perpetuate that cycle. One thing you have to realize, one thing that it really helped me reconcile this in my heart was it is very, very likely that my father was hurt by his father. And then my grandfather hurt by his father. And it's a long, long cycle, right? The thing is here though, guys, let me tell you something very important. You have the opportunity to be the one. Because the thing is about men back in the day, and or just men in general, because of they're, they're blinded by pride, they don't realize that they can be the ones to break the cycle. We have this knowledge now, right? That's why I'm getting this message out there. You don't have to suffer needlessly, okay? There's naturally going to be some suffering, right? That's okay. But as long as you come to the other side of it, having forgiven him and reconciled those differences in your heart, that also doesn't mean you need to have a relationship with him either. I don't have a relationship with my father, but that doesn't mean I don't love him. I love him. I can have a relationship with him and that's okay. And I've reconciled that in my heart. And despite his negativity toward me, what am I called to do as a man of God? To show him grace. Because one of the commandments is to honor thy father and honor thy, honor thy mother. And by honoring my earthly father, I honor my heavenly father. So in this spirit of rebellion, you see these young men engaging in all these behaviors. You think you're rebelling against your earthly father, but really you're rebelling against God. He does not want, to, want you to conduct yourself in this way. He wants you to live in peace and in order. But in order for you to do that, you've got to forgive your father first. He was a product of some type of trauma, and this is something that I've said many, many times before on social media and on podcast appearances, is that shouldering the burden of being a new link in an old chain of brokenness and trauma is the only way forward for a man. I remember a conversation that I had with my wife, and right before we got married, I said, you know, I'm going to change my last name to my mother's maiden name, right, really trying to run away from my history, you know, my lineage, uh, because I resented it so much. And my wife sat me down. And she said, that's the name that God gave you. I'm honored to share it. And your children will never know what you went through and will never have to experience what you went through with you as their father. And this changed it all for me. This changed everything for me. And it was hard at first. It was hard signing documents, last name Pantile. It was hard. But you know, what's interesting now is through marriage, through having children through forgiving him and understanding that he was probably hurt. And that at some point in his youth, he was innocent of the hurt that he was going through. You know, he did, he didn't choose it and that's okay. Right. 
that taught me an important lesson about forgiveness. But I can tell you guys, before I go on that tangent, if you can't forgive your father, you can't really truly forgive anybody in your life that's wronged you. Because you have to start at the roots first. You have to start at the foundations first. first, And that's your, your own dad. So now it's interesting. When I signed documents, when I, start, when I started this Instagram page, when I started this YouTube channel, you know, writing down my daughter's name and her last name, my wife, it started to change things for me. Where now, where there was shame, where there was um, sort of disgust, now there's, you know, pride is not a good word because it's not a good word because I, I do believe pride is a sin. But there's no more resentment. Let's put it that way. There's no negativity. When I'm signing my name, Mike Pantile, and I did that on purpose. When I started my Instagram page with the sole intention of trying to help other men, I wanted to use my last name purposely. So I had to face it. I had to look at it. And now it's become, it's become a thing. People know me, Mike Pantile. Nobody pronounces it correctly, <laughs> but that's part of it too. You know, and I can say this with a smile on my face and joy in my heart where I don't have that relationship that, you know, I wanted when I was a young man with my father. And you have to come to the realization that you may never have that either. A lot of guys have this expectation. And I did this a few years ago as I reached out to him and I said, sorry. And I expected us to sail off into the sunset. A lot of times, guys, there's no sailing off into the sunset with your dad. Don't have that expectation. Don't project that onto him. Forgiveness is for you. Forgiveness is so you can, you can, you can cut that negativity out of your heart, out of your spirit. Cause I truly believe it shackles you. It prevents you from truly becoming the man that you're cut, that God calls you to be and truly becoming the father and the husband that God calls you to be. So whatever trauma, whatever hurt that you have because of your dad, you got to forgive him. And I'll end it with this. God has more grace than we do sin. And we are rebellious toward him often daily. And a lot of times in ways that we don't realize, but he still forgives us so graciously, so abundantly. So why can't we forgive our own fathers? It's what God calls us to do. It's what God wants us to do. And it's one of the reasons Christ was crucified on that cross to bear the weight of our sin. He did that for us. So we should be able to move forward in forgiveness and reconciliation toward our fathers with no expectation of a relationship just to do that because that's what God wants us to do. That's it. God bless you fellows that are going through the struggle. I totally get it. It's not an easy one. Pray, reach out. You know, reach out to a father figure, reach out to a brother. Don't shoulder the burden on your own, but know it's something that you have to shoulder because your own soul and your children depend on it. Be the new link in an old chain. That's it.